Howdy Katropa, Kuya IT here at your service. Today, i-open line po natin permanently ang PLDT Home Prepaid Wi-Fi Modem Router with model number RO51. Gamit ang iyong smartphone. To start with, i-download po natin at install ang mga needed Android applications. And these are an FTP, RAR application, at ang Puti SSH. Ngayon, i-download naman po natin ang RO51 firmware files. Check the link lang po in the description. This is very important. Importante po ito when updating and flashing our RO51 firmware. And this guide, nasa download folder po ang location ng downloaded files. Open ko sa file manager ang download folder. Tap the RO51 firmware to extract. You need to type Kuya IT as password. Then, tap Extract. However, if hindi po ma-detect ng RAR application ang RO51 firmware files, open pa natin ang RAR app, tap Download Folder, tap to check the RO51 firmware file, tap the UnRAR icon, OK, and type Kuya IT as password. Tap OK. So, here it is. Nasa download folder din, na-extract ang files. As you can see, dalawa na ang RO51 firmwares. Isang compressed at isang extracted files na naglalaman ng tatlong files. The .gz, .bin, and .tx files. Nakakailanganin po natin mamaya. Let's move on by connecting to our RO51 Wi-Fi. Using, our, using the default Wi-Fi password na PLDT Home. Once connected na, open tayo ng web browser. Sa web address bar, type po natin ang default IP address and that is 192.168.1.1. Tap Go. If you encounter this issue mga katropa, naglo-loading lang or nagko-connect siya sa main router po natin, dito sa akin sa PLDT Fiber po siya nag-connect, make sure po na connected po kayo sa PLDT Home prepaid Wi-Fi. At i-clear po natin ang cache at history ng browser from the beginning. So, mas mabuti ka tropa ko Chrome browser po ang gamit ninyo para makasunod po kayo ng maayos. Then, retype the 192.168.1.1, tap go. So, yun. Pumasok na. Input lang ang PLDT Home as password and sign in. You will be prompted to change the admin and Wi-Fi password. So, the passwords must include alphanumeric uppercase, lowercase, special characters, and at least 8 characters. In this example, I will be using 123 Batman capital B for the admin and exclamation mark at sign hashtag 123 Batman for the Wi-Fi password. Then click save. We will be disconnected dahil nagbago na po yung ating Wi-Fi password. Reconnect lang po tayo using the new Wi-Fi password at sa ating new admin password, and then sign in. Navigate tayo sa router, sa configuration management. Then first, i-click po natin itong configuration file para may backup po tayo sa default firmware po natin. Take note po kung saan po ninyo na-download ang default firmware for future use. Ngayon, click natin ang browse, at navigate natin kung saan na-save ang that .gc file. So, in this case, itong PXA1826 cf.gc So, sa akin dito sa download folder, select ko lang itong .gc file and tap update. The RO51 modem router will reboot. After the reboot, reconnect lang po tayo sa Wi-Fi ng RO51. PLDT, po, PLDT Home po ulit ang password. Bumalik po yan sa default after tapping update. Hindi po tayo maglalagin sa RO51 Web Admin Interface or Dashboard. Open po natin, sa ngayon open po natin ang AND FTP application. Tap the plus icon. Dito sa type, select po natin ang SCP. Yung port is 22. Yung username at password are both root. Dito sa hostname ay ang IP ng RO51. Which is... 192.168.1.1 Tap Save Okay and Okay 
Next stop natin itong SCP folder. This back arrow button. Tap the MP or temporary folder to select. Take note we have 27 files. Tap this mobile phone icon to navigate to our phone's internal files. Importante na sa TMP or temporary folder po tayo before tapping the mobile phone icon. Tap ko ang download folder dahil dito ko na save ang RO51 firmware files. Select the bin file dapat naka-check tulad nito. Tap the download icon. Tap OK. Wait until the upload is complete. Tap OK. Ngayon, tap natin ang cloud icon to go back sa temporary folder ng RO51. As you can see, nandiyan na ang bin file sa TMP folder or temporary folder from 27 files, it is now 28. Pwede na po natin ma-close ang AND FTP. Open naman po natin itong PuTTY SSH. Tap the plus icon. Dito sa SSH protocol, tap the arrow down, input root sa username, sa host IP ng RO51, that is 192.168.1.1. Check the port, dapat 22 po yan. Tap the plus icon, then tap this to connect. Wait a few seconds. If you see this authenticity thing, just tap yes to continue. Input root as password. Now, nabigay tayo sa download sa RO51 firmwares dahil dito ko na-save ang text file. Open the text file. You may open it using word processor like WPS, Word, or Chrome browser which na Chrome po yung gamit ko dito. And long press this command to copy. Actually, pwede nyo pong i-type ang command. Pero mas madali kung kopyahin na lang po natin. Balik tayo sa puti SSH. Long press to paste the command and enter. Wait until matapos ang proseso or ang pag-flash. The RO51 will reboot at ma-disconnect na ang puti. Tap yes to end the session. Reconnect po tayo sa Wi-Fi ng RO51 using PLDT Home as password. At login po tayo sa RO51 Web Admin Interface using the same password PLDT Home dahil bumalik po lahat sa... Default after the flashing. Change po ulit natin ang admin at Wi-Fi password. So dito, same password lang ang gagamitin ko tulad po kanina. Yung 123Batman at yung um, exclamation mark at sa hashtag 123Batman. Madi-disconnect po tayo ulit dahil ang bago naman po yung ating Wi-Fi password. So reconnect lang using the new password. If you find this video helpful mga katropa, don't forget to beep the like button. And there you go mga katropa, the Globe SIM is now working po sa ating PLT Home prepaid Wi-Fi router model with model number RO51. From invalid SIM and no connection, it is now enabled at my internet connection na. Important note lang po katropa, gagana po to sa Gumo SIM, Globe, TM, and of course siguro sa Sun, sa Smart at sa Token Text. Actually sa Smart at Token Text gagana naman talaga sa prepaid Wi-Fi kahit hindi natin ma-open line. Pero sa dito, hindi ko po alam mga katropa, uh, sa malamang 50-50 or hindi talaga gagana sa dito. At kung mag-restart po ito mga katropa, yung open line status ay the same pa rin, hindi po mawawala. At kahit i-reset po ninyo gamit dito sa reset button sa likod, yung open line status niya po ay hindi pa rin mawawala. So same pa rin, open line pa rin. However, if ma-restore po ninyo sa default factory settings ang PLDT Home Prepaid Wi-Fi modem router inside sa web admin interface, ay babalik po ulit sa default. So, meaning, mawawala po yung open line status ng ating PLDT Home Prepaid Wi-Fi RO51. Take note of those things, mga katropa.